So what's the difference between AI and automation? I've seen this question pop up a few times recently. I've been asked it a couple of times, and I want to take the time to answer this in detail and explain what both of those are individually, AI and automation, but explain to you that there's a new industry and kind of these new tasks and jobs and roles that are emerging that combines both of those words, AI automation. And I'm going to share with you some of the AI automations that I'm using in my business that has saved me more than 80% of the work that I used to do is now just fully automated in a high quality way as well. We're not talking about a few prompts by chat GPT. We're talking about properly automated AI workflows that will completely blow your mind. So before we dive into that though, let's just take a quick look to see what chat GPT and perplexity say about this particular question. So chat GPT says AI is about creating smart machines that can think and learn like humans. This means they can solve problems, make decisions and understand language. Automation is when we use technology to do tasks without needing a person to help. AI can make its own choices based on learning. Automation just follows set rules given by people. AI can improve and change its actions over time, but automation does the same thing in the same way unless a person changes it. And let's see if perplexity says anything different. So the main difference between AI and automation lies in the tasks they perform. Automation involves automating repetitive tasks like data entry or form filling following predetermined instructions to improve efficiency and reduce errors. On the other hand, AI involves machines performing tasks that require human-like decision-making, analysis, and problem-solving. AI algorithms can learn from data, make informed decisions, and perform complex tasks, such as processing language or identifying objects in images. While automation is rule-based and follows specific instructions, AI can learn, evolve, and mimic human behavior at an intellectual level. In essence, automation is like the robot's arm, while AI is like the robot's brain. Very interesting. And to make that even clearer, what I've just used here, ChatGPT and AI, perplexity AI, are AI. So they're, they're the things that AI can do, which is it can, solve, it can answer your questions for you. It can help you write. It can help you do a whole bunch of things, create videos, images, and so forth. So many different things. Whereas an automation and these automation tools have been around for a long time, probably the most popular one would be something like Zapier. So Zapier will allow you to connect into different APIs of different software programs and eliminate repetitive tasks. So if we scroll down here, they'll probably tell us some of the zaps that they can do, which is when a new sales lead comes in Facebook, send that to Slack so that your sales team are notified or when, when there's a new HubSpot contact and create that in a spreadsheet. All of that is mapped direct to direct, which is really effective for eliminating a lot of repetitive tasks. There's also make.com, which is my favorite. I use, I've done so much with this in the last two months. Using this platform, I have literally automated 80% of the marketing work that I used to do in my business, which is totally mind blowing. I'm going to take you through some of those in just a second. Make is a little bit more of an advanced Zapier and it's a better price as well in my, and just a better product in my opinion. It, I find it so much easier to use than Zapier. However, they both have their place and time depending on what you need to actually do with it. But what's really emerging right now, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this. Some people are using it in a really interesting way for a lot of more of your manual outreach tasks, a lot of the things that you would hire your lower end virtual assistants for, but I'm not seeing many people use what I now call AI automations, which is combining the two and building out your own workflows. What do I mean by that? I've got this workflow here that I'm going to go through, which is like a YouTube production. So everything I would want to do for YouTube, but I have different workflows for in this particular system for podcasts, newsletters blog post productions, any of the summit notes and, and so forth that we do. I've got another dashboard that automates website copy for our workshops. It automates the email copy for our workshops, ad copy, all in this fully automated system. The, the premise of it all works the same. And if you are interested in a detailed look at this, there'll be a link pinned in the comments where you can watch the whole playlist. But essentially what we're doing here is I'm taking everything that I would normally do in my mind or in a planning doc when creating, uh, in this case, a YouTube video. And I'm putting it into this program here called Airtable, which is basically like a database for all of your information and then connecting it with tools like make.com, which we just went through into the APIs of the AI programs like OpenAI. And 
prompting it in a way that allows the AI to write really high quality copy exactly how I want it, templated in the way that I like based on my eight years experience of digital marketing, and then sending that information back into this platform so that I can approve it. So instead of me having to do all of those steps individually, or what used to happen in the past is I would have to spend a whole day trying to do all of those steps individually and writing it and then rewriting it and editing and so forth. We can now just fully automate that with AI. So when, when I come in to create a YouTube video, I come in and just add in the brand asset and the status and assign it to myself. And then here I add in the, the YouTube video working title. So this is the title that I come up with. I don't think too much about it when I'm creating it. I just put the title in there. If I want an SEO keyword, then I put that in there as well. And then if I know when, if I'm doing a header schedule, then I'll put in publish dates and any affiliate links that I have. Then I simply grab the transcript of that particular YouTube video that I've created and paste the entire transcript in here. So this transcript probably went for what, like 10 minutes, seven minutes up to this point. And once I have all of that information, I then hit this purple button here, which is create YouTube assets. And what it then proceeds to do automatically is it reads that transcript that I just pasted, sends it into OpenAI via make.com in an automated way, and then begins to go through different prompts that I have in there and send me the outputs. So in the first particular one, I asked it to give me five SEO titles and five attention capturing titles for this particular transcript or this particular YouTube video. So it does that and it provides me with five here and another five here. And all I need to do then is I just need to come in, have a look at the titles. Sometimes I'll mix and match them and it will give me the actual title for my YouTube video. But then I ask it to write a YouTube description as well. So it provides me with a description and I'm asking it to provide also three hashtags for the description. And I'm very rare. I don't think I've ever used the entire script description it gives me, but I might use like the first two or three sentences because usually they're pretty good. Next, it also then gives the timestamps for the different chapters in, in YouTube based on what it picks up from the content. And then for each thumbnail of YouTube, it provides me with the content as well. So these are the words that I could choose to use on the thumbnail. And rather than thinking of it myself when I'm designing it or with the designer asking them to come up with something, then I have a prompt that is trained on the diary of a CEO. If you know that podcast, it's trained on their top thumbnails. And then I'm asking it to do the same for our particular YouTube videos as well. At this point, even just that particular part of it is mind blowing. So the other thing that I can do is create promotional emails. So I can open up this here and we have different prompts here and, and I need to add more. I don't have one for YouTube just yet, but let's say that we wanted to promote this particular transcript using the promo email template. So what this would do, does now is that it's added a template in here and then I can click here, create promo materials and it will create an email and send it into this particular tab here, ready for me to check and edit and then send off. I also ask it to create 20 different subject lines based on some education and training from a source that I trust. And it creates all of those there as well. But again, that's not all. We can continue to do this over and over again with the different parts of how we need to re -content, uh, repurpose our content. If you want to turn that YouTube transcript into a blog post, then we have an automation here for a blog post. If you want to turn it into social media posts, then we have an automation here to turn it into social media posts. I've got 73 templates in there so far. There'll be a video in that playlist down below in the comments that shows you this exact process and how high quality every single social media prompt or every social media post output is. So we can go on here with anything that you wanted to achieve based on that one transcript. You can automate that flow with AI which is completely mind blowing. Like literally I, I say this almost every video, but the amount of work that I have automated in the last two months is it blows my mind every single day. If I wasn't so excited about creating YouTube videos and shouting from the rooftops about how good this is, I wouldn't really have anything to do in my business. So I hope this is really showing you and open your eyes to what AI automation really is because they once upon a time they were separate, but now we can combine both of those words to create a new term that every single business owner should know about. Because here's what can happen now. 
We can grow our business in a much more efficient way. We can hire less, which means our margins are going to be way higher. If you don't want to hire, you could easily build a multi-six-figure company just automating most of your work. But I definitely believe building a seven-figure company just with all of these automated workflows is absolutely possible as well. Or if you have a team and you want to keep expanding your team, you can make them two, three, four, five times more efficient and productive so that you're reaching your goals, your big goals way faster. And honestly, I'm just touching the surface here. There's so many more things that I want to automate and I bet you have so many others in your particular business as well. So if you are interested in a full deep dive into this particular platform and everything I've built, there's a playlist in the description below where you can view everything. I could have charged $1,000 for a course, but I just decided to put it all out there. I'd love to see more people using things like this so you can make more money, make more impact and really start running the business that you want and desire. That's the ultimate goal. So if you have loved it, let me know in the comments what questions you have. I'd love to answer those questions in an upcoming video and I'll see you in the next one.